They don't call it subsidies outright, but that is what government service contracting program is all about. And the first beneficiaries of the program have signed on for its benefits. The first batch of transport cooperatives have signed up for the service contracting program of the government that provides incentives to public utility vehicle drivers and operators to continue ferrying passengers amid the pandemic. Under the program, government will pay qualified PUVs for transport services rendered in respective identified routes. The payment is meant to offset lost revenues from having to operate under severely restricted capacity to comply with community quarantine protocols. PUVs will keep their fares they collect from passengers even as government pays for plying their routes. Among transport cooperatives who signed for the incentive subsidy program and participated in ceremonial signing ceremony with the DOTR and the LTFRB are the Tandang Sora, Visayas Avenue, Quezon City Hall Jeepney Operators and Drivers Association, Incorporated, led by its president, Noel Aguilar. Novaliches Malinta Transport Cooperative, led by its chairman, Roger De Gracia, and Mega Manila Consortium Corporation, led by its president, Roberto Torres, and Move as One Coalition Convener, Robert C. While allowing PUVs to continue operating under COVID-19 pandemic protocols, the DOTR believes the service contracting program will encourage safer public transport as drivers no longer need to race each other for passengers or to ignore capacity restrictions and take on more passengers than they should. The service contracting program is supposed to benefit at most 60,000 PUV drivers and operators over three months. Expect more transport cooperatives to sign up for the program.